Hey, welcome to this video. Got another video here for you on a cool little program called Shape Collage. Now, if you're into your Facebook and uh, social networking and stuff like that, blogging, then this little application is going to come in really handy for uh, making collages out of your photographs. Now, maybe you've got photographs of your friends and stuff and you want to put them on your Facebook, then again, this is a, a real cool little program for that. You can download it for free here. It works with Windows 7 Vista XP and 2000 also Mac OS X and also Linux. You need to install Java to actually run the program and as you can see it's a very small download 47, uh, 471 KB and uh, they have a pro version here which will take the little small watermark off if you are actually uh, using it uh, in the free version you'll just have a tiny little watermark saying uh, uh, shapecollage.com so it also what it does give you is the actual uh, PSD files for Photoshop so you can actually edit that file take single photos out and move them about manually which is quite nice and it gives you each photograph in a layer so it gives you more control over what you're doing which I think is worth the 29 or 25 dollars I should say so let's have a little look at the program anyway I've already downloaded it. They do do an online version, so I will have a quick look at that at the end. So let's have a little uh, blast at that. So I'm going to install this now. Quickly install. Okay. There we go. That's all done. So all we need to do now is drag our photo photographs in. Now I'm going to make a little collage of old gaming consoles. Now these are some of the oldest gaming consoles that I've got photos of the old BBC Micro there that's a real old one that is and uh, you've got some oldies there as you can see the Neo Geo Cube yeah, you've got a few there ok so let's uh, start this off anyway so what I'm going to do is I've got my photographs here now and you've got the actual size and shape that you can actually change heart, circle, so on and so on and so on, I'm going to leave it on this one here ok and uh, you've actually, let's have a little look, photo size, 200 pixels, I've leave it at that, manual, I'm going to leave that set as default as well, and also we've got photo spacing, so I'm going to leave this on 85%, you can move this up, photo spacing is something that will show you more of the photo or cramp them in nice and tightly by moving this downwards like so, so there'd hardly be any spacing or there'd be more spacing and so on and so on and so on ok you'll get the idea once I actually create the photos so let's uh, preview this now and as you'll see it's making a nice little collage there and that's done so I'm going to create this file now and I'm going to call it uh, consoles like that, that'll do I'm going to stick down the desktop and click save and I don't want to put it in there, I want to put it on my desktop Okay, I've called it that. There we go. I'm going to save. Done. So that's the actual image that is created. We can actually look at that now on the desktop. I'm going to drag that up so you can see it here. And I'll open it up. And this is the actual image that is created. Great for blogs and uh, Facebook and stuff like that if you've got photographs of all your friends now with the free version you will have this shapecollage.com slightly greyed out it's not a big issue to be honest with you it's just slightly there down the bottom and I can't see a big problem with that to be fair if you want to pay $25 then obviously you will get this removed and you'll get more control over your actual images but there you can see the actual image looks rather cool so let's have a little look at something else I'm going to have a look at the online version that it's got. So let's go back and click online. So here we'd have to have our links. Now I've just got a few links here. I'm just going to copy these in. These are links of actual images of gaming consoles. Now you can actually either put them in a circle or whatever you want. Square. We'll try a circle in this one and uh, just create that now as you can see it's just doing its thing you don't have much control in the online version but um, it does if you want something quickly then obviously you've got the option there for you so let's just actually do that and there you go it's done it automatically for you so you can't I don't think you can adjust the spacing online um, but there you go that's that's the actual gaming consoles there so I hope you've enjoyed this video my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk 
if you've enjoyed my videos please subscribe to my channel and uh, if you've got any questions there post a comment or get yourself over to the forum and register over there and start posting over there okay the forum was built for you guys to make it easier for you to post your co uh, questions so I can actually answer them okay so it's a bit quiet at the moment so please uh, get over there and register and that's about it for this video so thanks a lot for watching and uh, thanks for subscribing to my channel bye for now